the 32-year-old Frey for the Genovese sign. The last time these two teams met, it was a 1-0 win for Inter Milan back on December 13th at the Marassi. Yuto Nagatomo getting the goal, his second career goal against Genoa. And here comes Genoa trying to score early. The shot just over the bar. Off Milito. Over on the far side, here comes Diego Forlan. Forlan trying to score across the face of goal instead crossing. And Zadate will pick it up in the corner. And, and he reads the game extremely well on both sides. I like the start from Forlan, you know, that he's getting that movement, the freedom. Zarate cutting toward the middle of the field. He'll shoot and he'll just go wide to the near post. You'd like to see more of him. What do you like about him? He's a great player. He's a natural attacker with a good instinct. Uh oh. Here's Palacio challenging Samuel. Palacio blocked out by Julio Cesar. A lot to think about for the president, Massimo Moratti. Because while, even though he has the young coach in there, he's changing the formula. Line drive and it's knocked off on by Cambiasso. Sanetti. Four all-time in appearances for Inter Milan in the Serie A. Down the middle. Here comes Zarate. Goes wide to Forlan. Forlan, the line drive. Milito hits it in and he's done it again. Il Principe. Up the field. Lucio. Enter into the air. Cambiasso knocked away by Frey. Milito, the second try, and it's wide. He's going to make the most of it. Cambiasso, Beautiful. nice little behind the back flick to Diego Forlan, near side Zarate. Room to run for Inter. Will he shoot? Zarate will hang on for now. Come to the right side. Zarate against Moretti. Frey knocks it away. Forlan shot. Take it away. Here's Mesto. Veloso. And Biondini's pass. There's Scully with the shot. Not too tough for Julio Cesar. Well, I think Pasquale Marino at the, at the break will look at a few actions. They've cut up the middle with tremendous amount of space, Genoa. So Biondini is getting space on the break. Sarate doesn't have much recovery runs in him. When you look at some of the best strikers in the world, like Messi, he'll run back 30, 40 yards and recover and put pressure. So he's being used only for the attacking phases. Melito against Carvalho. He's got four lot on the far side and shoots well Wasted. too tall. Samuel and in with possession with Stankovic. Headed along, Diego Melito's onside. He's one on one with Frey. Melito shoots and he scores another. Forlan to Cambiasso, looking for Forlan. He's got room against Roger Carvalho. The free kick, the cross rather to Zarate, knocked away. First corner kick of the day for Inter. You saw seven for Genoa. Into the box it goes. Luis Samuel scoops it up. Kaladzi. Zarate knocks it down, but... Here comes Lucio, the redirection, and Walter Samuel has scored in her three, Genoa nil. This time Belushi will take it. Holds it high, the header cleared off the line by Julio Cesar. Scully again in the bicycle kick try, goes through for Genoa, an acrobatic goal, and it's 3-1 Inter Milan. Jankovic gets his head on it. And Samuel up to Cambiasso. Excellent. For long. Back heel flick by Milito. Stankovic has to look at it. Skips into the hands of Frey. The goal would be to make the Champions League, but coming into today, they were 10 points behind third place Lazio. 
for that last Champions League spot into next season. It's going to be quite a task with only eight games to go after today to get there. Great ball. Here's Zarate into the box. Zarate to the byline and Kaladzi, the veteran defender with the stop. Well, he knows that he was a little bit off on his final touch. But... Ryan driving to float to the near side. Here's Kivu on the volley. Did you see any contact there? No. No, I didn't either. <laughs> Here's Jankovic. Five goals, three assists on the year. He'll dump it off to Mesto. Ross looking for Schooley. Well read. Julio Cesar. Fantastic. 55 minutes gone by. Inter 3, Genoa 1. Danny Lee, Christopher Sullivan with you. Presentation of the City Hawk. Glad you can join us. We're trying to move up from its 8th place position. And Genoa currently in 15th place. Sanetti over to the far side to Forlan. Forlan against Kaka Kaladzi. Biondini with the help. Sanetti against Moretti. Sarate. Sarate cranks the shot. Knocked away by Frey. Mesto. He's going to give it. Try and notch goal number 16 here and get Genoa one goal closer. Winner led this 3 0, and now it might be shrunk down to one. Palacio will line it up, shoots and scores 3 2 Inter Milan. Well, if you believe in momentum in sports, you have to think that it's on Genoa's side at the moment. Here's Jankovic. Poli pushing behind, and now Jankovic and Poli getting into it. <laughs> Cambiasso trying to play Peacemaker. And a yellow card for Bosco Jankovic and a yellow card <laughs> for Pol Of the league. Cambiasso to Forlan. The Uruguayan into the corner. To Cambiasso from Poli. Cambiasso to the back post. Beautiful. Just wide. Beautiful. And they're too busy running. Here's Sanetti. Sanetti to the top of the box. Shot disrupted and he goes down. Good tackle. It looks like he gets clipped in the back of his leg. He's in pain. Kivu lines up the free kick. Headed down by Lucio. Just one. Cambiasso. Poli with the dummy to Milito. Milito's got room. Looking for the hat trick. He'll cross instead and Forlan miss hits on the shot try. Well, it was great work from Zanetti and Cambiasso to lock in Genoa. And they're starting to relay. Much better Inter. Look out. Zarate, far post shoots and scores his first goal of the year. Solidify the midfield with four. Obi, Poli. Jankovic and the volley over the bar by Schooley. Well, Inter next week will be on the road at Cagliari. Actually, three of their next four games are on the road. Down the middle, another chance for Genoa. Palacio winds up, cuts to the left, tripped up by Cesar. And there is another penalty it's kick coming card. for Genoa. And says Julio Cesar will be shown the door. And this time it looks like Alberto Gilardino will take it. He'll shoot and he'll score. And Gilardino has just his second goal with Genoa 4 3. He's still giving up still. Guarin looking for Melito ahead of the pack. But coming into the corner now for Obi. Great move. Down the middle, Guarin trying to get the shot. He goes down. He's going to give it for sure. He allowed it to play through because he thought Cambiasso. Had the advantage. Good call. Great feint. The way that he freezes on his reception made the whole play. He'll run up. Milito shoots. And he's got the hat trick. Il Principe. 
Makes it 5-3 Inter. He does this with conviction. That's the one they needed. With class, great approach. Diego Milito. And we haven't seen Massimo Moratti smile in two months. Great finish. Comes through his third goal. A little risky. The young coach moved to a 4-4-2. Changed two players. I think it was a good move to solidify the midfield. But just that back four of Inter. 89th minute, 5-3, Inter Milan, second highest scoring game in the league this year. Here's Guadina pushing the back, but Frey's got it anyways. Highest scoring game in the league, Napoli, Cagliari, 6-3 back on March 9th. Into the air it goes, and Schooley goes down in the box, and will we He's see another, another penalty yep. kick? Yep. When you look at the touch of Schooley, was impeccable with the timing. And when he rose put himself he, he had won the position and he was on his way as Genoa tries to creep within a goal Gilardino runs up he shoots and he scores and it's now 5-4 Inter Milan you can't stay down long you really have to see it through here and he, he's one of the symbols along with Zanetti Lucio, so the 93 minutes have elapsed, and there's the whistle. So in a game that saw nine <laughs> goals, four penalty kicks, three Milito goals, two red cards, and a win by that man right there in his debut, Andreas Stramaccioni.